Today, I'm in the abandoned Grove Inn between Myelham Royd and Luddenham Foot. Um, came here a few years ago. Um, decided not to give away what was going on because I think they were in the process of rebuilding. I think looking at what it looks like now, that's all been forgotten. So I'll have a very quick look round, a um, bit of history about it as we go. I'll show you what's here. This is the entrance. I'll point out pretty much everything has seen better days. And the old bar. Now the bar has actually been completely knocked out since we were last here. Uh, it had a back on it last time. It looks like they may still occasionally be doing work so it is only going to be a very quick wander around. It's obviously having issues with flooding. Also, since we were last year, sadly all the windows have been put through. It's like it's been kind of stripped bare. Ready for whatever comes next, but so far, nothing has happened. It's definitely in worse condition than it was. Back downstairs. Yeah, this has all been gutted. Was this your old pub? Let me know. Cellar. And the blind rack. I had thought I might go in the cellar, but it's very interesting noises down there, and I don't have the torch, so instead I'll head out. It's definitely causing a problem, isn't it? Right. There we go. So in the past there was a big mill here as well. I'll try and find a picture of it. Obviously you can see the back wall there. Um, it became the car park for the pub obviously. <laughs> so the whole complex was called the Grove Brewery. Opened in the 1830s. And the pub was just part of the brewery. An old mill area and kilns were all around the back. The brewery itself closed in 1906. It became a biscuit factory. But eventually, just the pub and the row of houses remained. 
the area behind cleared to make a car park. The pub itself closed in 2008. The mill it was actually a brewery, Grove Brewery. Okay, so there we go, just a quick look at the Grove Inn. Revisiting after about three years. Um, I've just no idea what's going on. There's definitely still some like work being done, some storage being done, but it's in far worse condition than it was. Um, half the building has gone. So, yeah, it's a mystery. Um, just a reminder, if you do go to these places, uh, just, well, A, be careful, but B, you know, just be mindful of the fact they might still belong to somebody. Um, don't smash it up. Somebody's been in and smashed that place up even worse with all the windows. Uh, it's not a cool thing to do. Um, yeah, other than that, I'll put some pictures on from our previous visit and see what the cellar's like. I have no idea what was in the cellar today, but there was definitely some funny noises down there. We'll see you soon. Bye. Firstly, some pictures that show the grove at different stages. Here it is in the 1960s. Next photo is how it looked in the 1980s. And then the next photo is obviously taken today. The rest of the photos coming up are from when we last visited in 2020 which was a far more exciting explore due to the fact there was still a good chunk of the pub part left. Okay, enjoy the photos. <laughs>